In this video, I'm going to solve a major problem of programming this ESP32 CAM board using Arduino by making a dedicated shield for it. So let's get started. ESP32 CAM board is really great if you compare its features and price point but the only negative point of this board is that this board don't come with built-in programming board just like we have in our ESPi board okay so for programming this ESP32 CAM board either you need to have a FTDI converter or a Arduino board and you have to make a lot of connection like four five connections with this particular board and then you will be able to program this board it's not that straightforward but what we'll do we'll be making a shield for it and by making the shield you just need to place this board onto the shield and program it just like you program your arduino and esp related boards superb right so for making this superb shield you'll require these all components after getting all the components you have to connect them all according to this circuit diagram so now here you have three options. First is either you can get all the components, shoulder it on a general purpose PCB and make a shield of it, which won't look quite neat and it will require a lot of time. Second option is you can order your own custom design PCB from GLC PCB just like we did. So GLC PCB is an online PCB ordering platform where you just need to upload the Gerber file of your PCB project, select the column masking if you want, and pay for your order. By selecting the fastest delivery option, you may get the PCBs delivered at your doorstep within seven to 10 days. So try ordering your own custom PCBs from glcpcb.com. And well, the third option is, if you don't want to make this kind of shield, you can purchase this shield from techesms.com. I'll let you know the details of purchasing at the end of the video, so stay tuned. So after receiving the PCBs and shouldering all the components on it, the shield looks something like this. So now let's just insert the ESP32 CAM board onto the shield and insert the shield onto the Arduino Uno board. So that is all about the shield making part. Now let's just test this shield by uploading a sample program to our CAM board, the ESP32 CAM board. So first of all, I'll open this camera web server example code provided into Arduino IDE. So here for ESP32 CAM board, we'll uncomment this line. After that, just provide the SID name and password of your Wi-Fi router. That's it. Now here just select the right board Now make sure all the configurations are same as shown in the video. After that, select the right COM port. Now before hitting the upload button, you first need to make this ESP32 CAM board to go into the boot mode. Let me show you how to do that. So as there was no reset pin provided into the ESP32 CAM board and as the reset button was on the back side of the ESP32 CAM board which was not easily accessible, what we did is as we want to make the ESP32 board reset, we just added an on off button. So when we just make the switch off and on, it automatically resets the board, okay? The logic is same, we are just turning off the board and turning it on, ultimately we are making this board reset, okay? So that problem was solved by this reset button and now comes the boot button. Now to make this ESP32 CAM board go into the boot mode, we need to connect the GPIO zero pin of the ESP32 CAM board with the ground at the time of powering up okay if you are not able to understand it let me show you what you need to do first of all make the switch turn off after that just unpress this boot mode button and make the switch turn on again and with this you have successfully made this esp32 cam board to go inside the boot mode now we are ready to click the upload button so let's just hit the upload button and let's see if the esp32 cam board programs or not Okay, as you can see, our code got successfully uploaded without, you know, having any single wires uh, at connected to this particular ESP32 CAM board, thanks to its dedicated shield. Now, before opening the serial monitor, first press this boot button. Now, make the position of the on-off switch from off to on to make the board reset again. And now open the serial monitor. Remember, don't open the serial monitor unless and until you just uh, make this board to take out from the boot mode and reset the board again. So now, as you can see, we are getting the response on the serial monitor. That means the code is successfully running onto the board. So yeah, that was all about how to make your ESP32 CAM board programming shield, which will make your programming task way more simple. Just plug it and program it. So that is all about making this particular shield. Now comes the point how you can purchase this shield. That's very simple. Just need to click on the link mentioned in the description that will take you straight to the order page. Just place your order and you will be getting this particular shield with all the components shoulder on it, except the ESP32 CAM board, of course. 
at your doorstep within you can say 10 to 15 days of ordering but this is only valid for indian customers we are not uh, yet uh, capable enough to you know deliver this particular shield this particular project outside india so if you are indian if you live in india you can definitely purchase it the link is in the description and if you also want to purchase the esp32 cam board there is also an option of uh, selecting the esp32 cam board and if you select that esp32 cam board you'll be getting this shield along with that esp32 cam board delivered at your doorstep so we have two options for both the customers so that's it about the video i hope this video solved a really great problem of yours about programming this board if is it so consider liking this video comment down your thoughts regarding this video and let me know what more projects what more this kind of hacks you want onto this particular channel and i will definitely make it for you yes the comment section is just for my audience i regularly say it's just for you let me know give me your command and i'll try to deliver that particular project straight onto the channel and that being said ending this video here and now just wait for my next one to explore learn share with me techie sms